Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aishwarya and you're watching The Teen Kitchen. Today we're going to make beetroot pachari. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe. I post new recipes every single week and let's get started. Let's take a mixy jar or a blender and add 1 fourth cup of grated coconuts. And then let's add 1 inch ginger. Let's also add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Add some water as required and grind it to uh, form a smooth paste. Let's keep it aside and let's take a pan or a kadai and add one beetroot which is grated. This is a small beetroot. Add the beetroot and then let's add some water. Add about half cup of water approximately or add water as required until the beetroot or soak it well with the water. And now, now let's spread the beetroot equally on the pan. And we are going to cook the beetroot. Let's add some salt. Add some salt as per your taste. And let's mix it. Mix it thoroughly. Mix it and then let's cover and cook it. Let's close and cook it for about 10 minutes. So now after about 10 minutes, I'm opening it and the beetroot is cooked. Let's just mix it. And now let's add the coconut paste which we made. You can also add some green chilies in the coconut paste but I have added some chopped green chilies afterwards let's also add a little bit of water and let's give it a good mix let's mix it thoroughly make sure that the beetroot is mixed well with the coconuts Mix it well and cook it for about 5 to 7 minutes approximately. So now the beetroot had cooked well with the coconut and the raw smell of the coconut had gone. Now I am going to turn off the flame and add one fourth cup of curd. Make sure that the flame is off when you are adding the curd. Add the curd and let's give it a good mix. Let's mix the curd thoroughly with the beetroot. At this time the flame is off. After mixing it well, we are going to add in some mustard seeds. We are going to take a small pan. Here I have a very small pan to this. I'm going to add one tablespoon of coconut oil. Let the oil heaten up. And then let's add one teaspoon of mustard seeds. Let it crackle. Let's add one fourth teaspoon of asafoetida powder or hing. And then let's add few curry leaves. Let it splatter and then after it had splattered, let's turn off the flame and transfer it to the pachadi. Just shake it slightly so that it gets cooked. And now let's transfer it to the pachadi. So as I have said earlier, you can Add the green chilies in the coconuts and grind it. Since I have not added it in the coconut, I'm gonna add in some green chilies now. So I'm gonna take the small pan again.
Here I have taken the small pan again and I'm gonna add in some coconut oil. I love coconut oil, it gives a very good taste and let the oil heaten up and then let's add 3 green chilies which is chopped. You can add green chilies as per your taste. Add in the chilies and let it get cooked for about a minute or so. Just shake it and let it cook. I'm gonna turn off the flame and transfer it to the pachadi which we made. Let's mix it. Let's mix the green chili. Let's give it a final mix. And our beetroot pachadi is ready. Watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my English channel here. Subscribe to my Tamil channel here. And check out my other videos here. Bye.